different and neither were a lot of the other people who were there. We don't appreciate the label of being terrorist, especially a lot of us well, are from this? countries where you terrorism shouldn't appreciate is very the, spread, the, so. the label or the activity. Why don't you come here and say, you know, I'm pretty damn embarrassed that people that agree with me resort to violence instead of going Absolutely. up here and trying to lecture me yeah. about calling them terrorists? Absolutely. But this isn't about you're making a I fool of yourself. Why I don't you know. go out and talk to your buddies and tell them to understand. stop trying to shut down our event? What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we back here with a new video, guys. Today, we're checking out Chas Kick Blast College Students. Hmm, this is gonna be an impressive and really good. I will love checking this out with you guys. So let's get right into it. Hi. Uh, so as someone who who claims to be such a bastion of uh, freedom of speech, why do you call the protesters outside terrorists um, outside of say one broken window? Well, it's more than one broken window, assaulting cops, spray painting the death threats that they throw at me, the violent intimidation, the graffiti. But that's not, don't you think it's bigoted to call all protesters who are outside as terrorists when a handful of minority might be representing um, some Wait, uh, why would it be bigoted? Sentence. They're mostly white liberals without jobs. Sorry? Why is it bigoted? They're mostly white liberals without jobs. But it's call, you're calling all protesters terrorists? I'm calling Antifa out there that are anonymizing their identity, sending death threats to my family, smashing windows, and spray painting the campus the entire week leading up to this terrorist. Yes, I absolutely stand by that. But so, so that, that wouldn't, that wouldn't, a lot of them are just college students who don't agree with the point of view that you're propagating Well, maybe today. they should have come to the front of the line and asked a question like you and not acted like somebody in a third, in a third world country where we settle our dif where they settle their differences with gang violence. But just to be sure, mm. those people who are there to register their protest aren't terrorists. Okay, the terrorist definition is a person who uses unlawful violence and intimidation, especially against civilians, in the pursuit of political aims. Did they do that? I, I don't think I don't think so. I was, Wait, hold I on. Was the, a person I was who unlawfully violent, window smashing, graffiti, assault Not against police of officers. Not okay. all of them. H hold on a second. The leaders. They cover for themselves. And by the way, we only a small of them are isolated and they're all in one big black block. And don't, don't try to, you know, don't try to gaslight the people here or the people watching online. There's hundreds of them. They're working in a coordinated network with coordinated tactics. True. And these are not just quote unquote college kids. There's obviously somebody behind this with funding and sophistication with quasi paramilitary tactics. And let me ask you a question. So Why is it? that when people go into the United States Capitol and take a selfie, they're called terrorists by our government. But when you start to terrorize and smash windows and put violent threats and death threats to me, it's somehow bigoted to call them terrorists. So first of all, it's not, it wasn't a coordinated effort as someone who was there. Um, I didn't, I just knew that there was this event happening and that there would be a protest to, um, in order to register um, our, our point of view. I, I was not part of any coordinated effort and neither were a lot of the other people who were there. We don't appreciate the label of being terrorists, especially a lot of us well, are from this? countries where You shouldn't appreciate the, spread, the, so. the label or the activity. Why don't you come here and say, you know, I'm pretty damn embarrassed that people that agree with me resort to violence instead of going Absolutely. up here and trying to lecture me yeah. about calling them terrorists. Absolutely. <laughs> But this isn't about... You're making a I fool of yourself. Why don't, don't you know. go out and talk True. to your buddies and tell them to stop know. trying to shut down our event? So I don't know why your response is always a whataboutism. I mean, I'm just asking it's if not. you... It's if you I'm take asking back questions that not you terrorists. can't answer ism. What? I've, I've answered each of your questions. I'm just saying no, that let me ask you a not question. everyone is will part you, of let me a ask you a question. F will, you, will, you, will you publicly condemn the violence done in the political spirit outside by the people that you were protesting alongside? Will you do it that right now? It depends what you're referring to. Smashing I, of windows I, I, and assaulting police breaking, officers. I don't think breaking windows is a good idea. Assaulting but police officers. Do you condemn that? No one that? assaulted police officers. You what? I was there. No one assaulted police That's officers. That's a lie. That's not there. true. Throwing eggs and objects at police officers was... is a legal definition of assault, no matter how much you try to gaslight so it or just, spin it. If I can just, without, without resorting to whataboutism, using your definition of terrorism, if the police uses unjust violence against civilians, should that also count as terrorism? Absolutely not. But first of all, your definition of unjust... I'm just taking your definition of No, no, no. Let me, let me read this again. Unlawful Sorry. violence and intimidation, especially against civilians in the pursuit of political aims. 
Antifa doesn't just do this here. They did this in Sacramento and assaulted one of our Turning Point USA employees not and sent one of them to the hospital. Antifa, oh, by the way, the same buddies, the same tactics, the same coordination, the same wardrobe, the same language, the same signs. You know what they did two weeks ago? They arsoned and firebombed an entire police training headquarters in hmm. Georgia in massive coordinated fashion. And so right now what we are seeing is the rise of left-wing domestic violent extremism and the failure to acknowledge or admit it means that you are blinded by ideology thank you for being true. here tonight we'll get to the next one but true like that guy asking the question he he's an hypocrite it's as simple as that he's saying um task kick not to phrase everyone as terrorists whereas you know what's happening you know the assaults that happened you know the death threat on his life, and you're telling him not to ca classify everyone that is protesting right there as terrorists. It is a gang up shit. It is ganged up. <laughs> so, few people that just don't know come out and be throwing something or giving life threats or stoning or trying to assault. This is something that has been orchestrated. It is a planned out oppression. It is planned out. So that guy right there asking the question, he's an hypocrite. He knows exactly what happened. He knows exactly what transpired. It's not just Charles Kick that's happened to. Previous people at the turn point USA that has happened to them. So you already know what is happening, reoccurring several times. And you're telling him not to call them terrorists. What kind of manner of man are you? The guy asking the question, he's a hypocrite. It's as simple as that. He knows what is happening. He's just making a fool of himself, asking that question, and still standing there. I'm trying to defend himself that he's right. He's blindfolded. Like, it's serious. Like, that guy asking the question, like, I understand what Charles is past because me right now, I'm pissed. Well, how dare you come ask the question, like, um, do some of them are not terrorists? Don't you see the acts that, that they committed? And him identifying them as terrorists, he. He has all rights to identify them as terrorists. He gave you the definition of terrorism, and you are still there asking him the same question, claiming that you are right, that he's wrong. Someone who is having life threats on his life, chest kick, they were giving him a life threat. They want to kill him. And you're coming right there to ask him question that, how dare you classify them as terrorists? How dare you come there and ask him the questions? It's, it's really serious. It's really, really serious. The guy right there asking the questions like, right, I'm pissed. Because Chaski has all the right to shut him down a long time ago and tell him, drop that mic and leave it there. It's as simple as that. Because you, you are not in Chaski's situation. You don't know how it feels like to have your life threatened. The, the guy right there has, he has not one bit of idea what it feels like to have your life threatened by different people who you have no idea who they are or where they come from giving life threats and assaulting police officers and trying to harass you he, the guy right there has, has no idea comment down below what you think about this video give us a thumbs up share this video to as many as you can subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next video make sure you stay safe i, I just want a bag like an old lady I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers, pass that 808, that don't, don't shake her, oh bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater, baby mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore, buku bitch, in my bed, I got scales all